we go. So we're going to go ahead and take another pot shot at them once again. And again, 1500 to just pour it, but again, I think we can do it. And we'll just go ahead and send our leader. And then I'm going to proceed to follow it up with basically all my tier fours right behind it. We'll go figure, but whatever. Well, he ends up um, shielding, so that's fine, but. So did we actually... Oh, we got us later. <laughs> Alright, let's take a shot at gravity now. So we're going to pop another... You know, relocate over here. We're going to do some damage over here. Um, because I'm higher in infantry, we're just going to switch to infantry. We'll send that attack. We're going to pop a 20% boost while we're at it. Okay, let's see what he lost. 98k. Uh, take another shot at it. Well, crime mini. Oh well. That's fine. So we ended up 98,000 dead there. So I lost some guards and a little bit of fighters. In return, he lost 84,000 guards and 14,000 cavalry. I'll shrug on that. That's not that bad. Like of course, uh, you know, I got a, another guy that uh, you know, was from the Rest Guild. Now, this one was kind of a... I want to say this one was a pretty sketchy move on me. I knew this guy was going to be pretty big. I knew it was going to be... You know, it was going to be kind of hard to kind of hit initially. And I realized a quarter of the way into it, I actually had my leader sheltered. So I had to actually pull my leader from a shelter. But... One of the few problems that I had in actually going up with against this guy to begin with was the fact that basically this guy had everything he had ready prepared against me. And I was like, well, okay, let's try and even it up just a little bit, bring it all the way up. Well, you know, of course, this, this guy was one of the bigger targets that I've tried to hit in the past. Now, I will say this guy was a pretty pricey target to hit, and... Part of the reason why some of these the guys that get into the mid 900 mil, you know, like you start getting into the 900 thousands is that you're going to start taking pretty heavy attrition by trying to hit them. But, you know, what we try to do is we switch over to the proper phalanx that we can counter them with. And then our hope and praise that we'll just be able to uh, to slowly outmatch these guys just so slowly. Now, unfortunately... You know, obviously the wound cast here is so high that it in fact goes over my infirm. And this costs me pretty dearly down the road. Now, I'm, you know, want to say that, yes, when you hit anybody, for that matter, especially someone this big, you really should have a pretty decent infirm size. I made the mistake of uh, trying to decide whether I wanted to go high into cavalry or range there. Because he was more of a cav player than he was than a, uh, but I thought you know I could just I, I could just outbeat him in cav is what I figured. Now eh, it kind of worked out that way sort of, but you could still you know it, each hit you you can see is kind of a loss on both sides. But most of those up to this point have all been tier three with some tier four losses. And by how many? It's about ten thousand or so. I mean it was pretty rough you know in some spots it could be as high as 50,000 and again that's a lot of tier 4 to be losing just by eating you know and eating, basically he's eating those marches you know which you know when you're not rallying the guy at a million it's pretty it can be pretty rough um you know in terms of troop loss you're you're gonna take a pretty huge dent but you know, seeing as how, at this point, you know, I was pretty much running out of tier threes, and I'm like, well, okay, the buffer there that I have is pretty much gone. So at this point, you know, it's just do or die. You know, finish him off, or, you know, die in the bathe in the glory, you know. And so we just keep going after the guys. So he ends up losing another 192,000, which is basically what turns the tides in my favor of, you know, even though it cost me and it was about even on both sides, this is where it essentially becomes a pretty easy to see who ends up losing. 
on this side. And, you know, obviously, yeah, I lose a lot of tier fours doing this, but I argue that, you know, between the two, it, obviously I was like, you know, oh, I'll try it. But then I realized, you know, that this is a problem that you'll run into a lot of the times. I just didn't have the ore anymore to continue. And that's, you know, that's kind of the unfortunate reality with a lot of these kind of attacks is that eventually you'll hit your breaking point. And at that point, I realized, well, okay, I'll just, I'll just take it for what it was. You know, and we'll basically finish this guy off. That's, that was the mindset at that point was to clear him out. So we ended up clearing him out. And, you know, it, it, it was pricey, but it, it came at the cost of him losing over 500,000 troops. Which I think, you know, after, you know, sending those many marches, you know, it, it was like a 10 mil-ish drop for me, and it was a 30 mil drop for him. And it puts their guild behind him. Uh, the next upcoming, uh, as you guys probably all know, uh, the upcoming attacks that we all like to know as KVK. So by putting that guy behind, I feel like it's totally worth it. Um, of course, as you can tell, I got my gyms back, so I will be reprinting troops by the time it's even relevant. So, be, to be quite honest with you guys, I really am not too worried about the losses. Um, are they expensive for me? Yeah, pretty expensive, but nowhere near expensive for this guy, because this guy is not going to be able to repair it in time. But like, as you can see there, 50,000 uh, drakes is you know more than enough than a person should ever have to pay in tier 4s. You know, 17,000 there. I mean, those are not the kind of things that you want to see when you march on somebody, but, yeah, it's only expected. Like, that is high as 62,000. Like, some of those losses are really high. Like, 40,000, you know, Tier 4 infantry, 14,000 drakes. Again, you know, the the mistake I make in the hitting this guy really is, is that, you know, if somebody this large can eat attacks almost, you know, like it's nothing. Like, it's it's pretty easy to eat those attacks. And mind you, he wasn't even in war gear, you know, like, it would have it would have been a lot worse had he been in war gear. But having that said, you know, we ended up clearing him out and basically put him into his reign as, an, you know, as someone to even remotely threaten anybody in the king kingdom. I mean, he's pretty much out of his ability. We've, you know, zeroed his ability to even do any of that. So, but without further ado, though, guys, I mean... I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.